uh, new students who would also be dressed in their finery. And they'd come in here and uh, they'd be in this opulent room as they would ride home and tell their parents. And they visited with their professors who were all dressed in tuxedos and evening gowns and they couldn't believe that they were attending an institution like this. And they were impressed by the size of the building of McAllister Hall and by this room. And also this room was a place where people uh, courted. Uh, on campus, at that time, any type of outward affection was frowned upon, holding hands, uh, not allowed. But in this room, uh, boys and girls, or men and women students, could come and, and meet and talk to one another. And this is where Jan's parents met in this room. Her mother played the piano. And her dad was here, and of course he heard a piano used to be back there in the corner. It's a professor of journalism in UCA's Department of Mass Communication and Theater. She's written a book called, If It Ain't Broke, Break It, How Corporate Journalism Killed the Arkansas Gazette. <coughs> and she's going to talk to us today about her book and maybe take a few questions from the crowd. So at this time I'd like to...